General, I'm on Tatooine. Has Master Kuix reported in? Negative. And before I brief you any further, I'd like to make something clear. Master Satil informed me of her decision regarding Kira. I don't approve. The Jedi Council may trust your Padawan, but that doesn't mean I have to. For the record, I don't trust her either. I'm standing right here. And you're blasted lucky to be, so don't push it. Last we heard, Kuwait secured our weapons research facility. She's missed every comm check since then. Enemy action is the most likely scenario, but on Tatooine, anything's possible. If it's so dangerous, why pick it for your weapons facility? Tatooine has millions of uninhabited kilometers. Perfect for our research. Dr. Godera will brief you on the weapons project. Doctor? The research facility on Tatooine has created a device codenamed the Shock Drum. The weapon discharges massive ultrasonic vibrations into the ground. It damages enemy fortifications at a microscopic level, quite literally softening them up. The vibrations will cripple people if they're close enough. But that's not all. The shock drum eventually disrupts the planetary core. At critical mass, the core explodes. Imagine what that weapon could do to the Imperial homeworld. My sentiments exactly. You're not in the business of destroying worlds. When the weapon's full potential became known, I halted testing. However, there's a fully operational shock drum prototype at our facility. If Darth Angrel has captured it, the results will be catastrophic. With no word from the facility or Master Kuix, we must assume the worst. I sense Master Kuix through the Force, but it's faint. I think she's dying. Can you feel her surroundings? Where is she? Not sure. Somewhere dark. It's taking everything she has to stay alive. I don't have any Republic contacts there to assist you. You're on your own. Our facility is located in a remote part of the desert. I'm transmitting the coordinates. Good luck. Marsuthra, out. A Jedi? Seabrick, I told you help would come. We'd almost given up hope. Thank you for saving our little family. Glad to help. Do you people work at this facility? Have you come to protect the shock drum, like Master Kuix? She defended us against Imperial soldiers led by a Sith. She fought bravely, but the Sith was stronger. When I find him, he'll learn I don't die as easily. She isn't dead. At least not the last time I saw her. I assumed he was going to kill us all. Instead, he captured Master Kawix alive and ignored us. The Sith destroyed your droids, but he didn't harm us. He said we were no threat, and that we didn't deserve to die. If he didn't kill you, it's because he has something worse planned. I didn't get the feeling he intended to come back. The Sith and his soldiers took Master Kowix and the Shock Drum prototype into the desert. Brick and I were attempting to restore power to this facility and track them down when the Sand People attacked. The Sand People won't be a problem anymore, but we need to find that weapon. Can you help? This facility can pick up the Shock Drum's locator beacon, but not until we restore power. The Sith knocked out all our generators during his attack. If you reactivate them, we can find him, Master Kowix, and the Shock Drum. Facility power is back online. I'm afraid that's the only good news I have. I just detected the Shock Drum's locator beacon. The weapon has been activated. If we don't shut it down, the device will soon reach critical mass. When it does, Tatooine's core will explode. That 
That's why you weren't killed before. The Sith plans to destroy the whole planet. It doesn't make any sense. Tatooine has no tactical value. The Republic barely knows it exists. Pinpointing the shock drum's exact location from here is impossible. The seismic vibrations disrupt our sensors. The general region is thousands of square kilometers. We have to narrow it down somehow. Rick, that's brilliant! The ultrasonic scanners, of course! Whatever you're talking about, we need to find the shock drum fast. Ultrasonic scanners placed in a wide pattern will triangulate the shock drum's seismic disturbances. They'll reveal its location. Installing the scanners is extremely dangerous. The desert region is deadly. Ideally, we'd send an army. Your droids won't be ready soon enough, Brick. This Jedi is our only hope. Take the ultrasonic scanners. Place them at these map coordinates. We'll contact you by hollow once we've triangulated the shock drum's location. Good luck. I place the scanners. Do you have a fix on the shock drum? Collating the scanner readings now. Ah, oh, no wonder the sensors couldn't find it. It's beneath an abandoned mining complex. I'm sending the coordinates and the shock drum's deactivation code. Everything depends on you now, but we'll be here if you need us. going to make it. Just hang in there. Hope to see you again. Heron out. Greetings, Jedi. I am Lord Praven. My master seeks retribution for his son's death. I must give it to him. If all you want is my death, why destroy Tatooine? When my master learned you were here, he demanded I activate the shock drum. He'll destroy this entire world. I know you've located the weapon, but that won't be enough. I changed the deactivation code. If you can change it, so can I. Further tampering with the weapon will cause a catastrophic explosion. You need the code. I possess. Come, face me. If I win, I've done my duty. If you win, you'll have the new code. Whatever the outcome, we will battle with honor. I await you at these coordinates. sense your power. Now I understand why Tarnis was no match for you. His death was my failure. I should have trained him better. The other Sith I fought were full of hatred and arrogance. And you, I sense regret. My family is true Sith. My only passions are integrity and honor. I welcome the end of your kind. The Jedi obsession with my people's extermination must end. Your lust for revenge will destroy this galaxy. Whatever you've been told about us, it's a lie. We'd gladly stop fighting if it meant genuine peace. I'd like to believe that, but I know better. Come. Let us end this. Die well, Jedi.
So much power. Impressive. You could kill me. Why hesitate? You could have killed the scientist and those Jawas at the shock drum facility. But you didn't. They were not warriors. Their deaths would have been pointless. Darth Angrel commanded me to destroy the shock drum code. He wanted you to die in failure, no matter the outcome here. I will not tarnish my honor with petty tricks. You've earned better. The code is yours. Why turn against your master? I serve a higher authority than any master. A Jedi wouldn't understand. Darth Angrel ordered that Master Kuix suffer greatly before her death. I wish I had disobeyed that order as well. You expect me to believe you care what happens to a Jedi? She faced me as a warrior. She should die as one. I left her incapacitated next to your weapon. If they haven't already, the ultrasonic vibrations will eventually tear her apart. There is nothing more to say. You won our duel. Finish me. In another life, we might have been friends. I am ready. May the Force be with you. Sith changed the deactivation code for the shock drum, but I have the new one. I'm on my way. You're not there yet? Brick and his family are in terrible danger. They followed their droids to the mining complex. I tried to stop them, but they were determined to help you. Brick just sent an emergency hollow. He says there's something called a sand demon at the mine. It's attacking them. The Sith hid your super weapon in the mine without this beast interfering. What changed? I don't know. Maybe the shock drum's vibrations enraged it, it, attracted it there. That beastly predator is the only thing that hunts crate dragons. And those are massive. Brick doesn't stand a chance. Please, you can't let anything happen to Brick and his family. Save them and stop the shock drum. Hurry! <laughs> When your people get the beast's attention, I'll come in behind you and surprise it. If you're not gonna help, just keep out of my way. Quiet, finally. I can breathe again. I've been down here so long, Orgus is Padawan, but I left you on Coruscant. What's happened? Darth Angrel wants to destroy the Republic. You're going to help me stop him. I am in no condition to face a Sith Lord. I only survived this weapon by withdrawing into a deep trance. The Force itself became my armor. Sustaining the trance cost me greatly. My strength is a fraction of what it was. What you did was miraculous. We'll handle things from here. I know you faced terrible dangers for me. I will not forget that. Here you are. I was coming to help when sensors indicated the shock drum stopped. You did it. Rick wasn't exaggerating about the sand demon. I've never seen anything like it. I almost hated having to destroy it. My friends, the danger is not yet past. Even deactivated, that weapon remains a threat. 
You understand the situation best. What should we do? If we can get it out of here, this weapon could defeat the Empire. I'm sure General Varsuthra can move the shock drum somewhere the Sith won't find it. I'll have to go with it, Brick. Would you and your family enjoy seeing more of the galaxy? I will see to the shock drum. You should return to your ship and inform General Varsuthra what's happened. With the Sand Demon dead and Imperials gone, you should be safe. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you. General, I've secured your shock drum prototype. Send a recovery team to pick it up, along with seismologist Heron and Master Kuix. Wonderful news. I have some thoughts for modifying the shock drum into an aerial bombardment device. I'll send a transport to Tatooine immediately. But don't get ahead of yourself, Doctor. Let's hope your mission to Alderaan goes as well as it did here. Our Sutra out.